concept of Gaia, symbolizing a living, breathing planet, is very close to our heart. We seek to embrace our fragile planet as a self-regulating complex ecosystem of sustainable living. In harmony with nature and the world around us. Morphing into a low carbon footprint, energy neutral, community of learners. In this end, we believe in bringing social and agroforestry independent and renewable of our generation water conservation and recycling organic farming and humane dairy, encompassing principles of permaculture to our living environment. We have been practicing this in as many ways as possible. Yen's world has taken birth in fragile ecosystems, in two diverse locations, Living habits the rural landscape, along with the flora and fauna. Surrounded by forests, mountains, and lakes. Conserving while learning, saving the magic nature has sprinkled across our planet, bestowing every stream and every tree with a universe of amazing life. Yen's world believes that to support our existence we have to become aware of the grandeur of existence itself which is why learning immersed in the raw spirit of nature makes our lives truly worthwhile living like this and learning like this we hope to return Learners of all ages, young and old, facilitators, parents, and anybody else who wishes to be a part of this community, into caring, sharing, giving, nature loving, socially responsible individuals. This will be a place for living and learning like none other. why we call the learning component an unschool for want of a better word. Welcome to Yen's World. Our unschooling pedagogy is built around the geometry of a four-sided pyramid. Science, art, nature, and life skills form the four sides. Supported by a foundational base built with our abiding core values, timeless in its relevance to human existence. It took a long while for us to get this far. We are now in the process of taking it further. Can we tell you a story of how life turned around for one of our first learners?
This is how it all began. This was my dream. A dream of a little girl. A dream that seemed so out of my reach. In 2011, a young ballerina with a broken ankle, yet pursuing a fuzzy dream, accidentally stumbled into Yen's world. So like everyone else, I was made to pursue regular education. And I studied in a convent school in Mumbai. And at the end of my schooling, when I passed my boards, I scored and passed with very flying colours, like 85%. But at this stage of my life, I had already lost interest in education. I was still looking for a purpose. I did not know what was the purpose of or the meaning behind all this learning. I was looking for something more. The country's obsolete education system vaporized any remaining interest in conventional schools. She merited in the Mumbai secondary boards decided to pursue an open school, the NIOS. I came here with just some broken dreams and a broken ankle. For the first time in amidst boundless beauty of nature and uh, no pressure of traveling up and down, uh, no homework, no timetables, no bells, no classrooms and now for the first time I immersed myself completely in my first love, art. And it is here that I discovered that uh, you know the foundations of performing arts lay in the mold of uh, classical which I was completely oblivious to it up till then. Clearing the plus two boards with distinction saw Yen's world launching her into a double graduation program. Bachelors in Fine Arts, Bachelors in Mass Communication. She topped these and went on to acquire a Master's in Bharatanatyam. Now she was not just any artist but a unique performer with excellence in both Western and Indian classical forms. Unheard of anywhere outside established ballet academies, she danced on point. The coveted final stage for ballerinas. She proudly took on the highest classical piano grade as well. This story does not end here. It begins here. Unknown to the world outside, she was being tutored in diverse other fields. From astronomy to programming and data science. The art programming language Arduino programming in C++ from electronics and robotics to entrepreneurship and uh, brushing up some things that I had learned in JavaScript JS 
right. uh, which is one of the very fun languages because right. uh, you know it is used for animation and drawing. leading to skills in 2D and 3D animation which can be a wonderful career choice as well and so in demand world over so, um, why we learned and chose C++ is another very important thing uh, because uh, after this we wanted to uh, go into robotics so that's where the connection comes so it's used for many projects whether you want to go deep into the ocean with your submarines or you want to go to space everywhere uh, c++ is so used so i used to always think that you know uh, these things are just uh, so boring before i came to yen's world that i never even wanted to touch things like this because it's so dry what is programming but now i have understood that it is so much fun and uh, it's actually used for such creative purposes now uh, what is arduino well uh, arduino as you can see here is basically a development board yeah okay and this is the microcontroller yeah. so we are here trying to program this chip yeah okay right so, so the first project that we always do um is to make an led blink yeah to make an led blink with the hardcore electronics yeah right so basically here with arduino we are combining computer programming yeah. and hardcore electronics so hardcore programming and hardcore electronics and that's the combination which uh, is a, arduino is all about right and um, so many that's people uh, would be teaching uh, you know robotics and things like that but they just give the kids some kits and they just uh, you know just put things together and then just plug a battery and that's it and they think that they're doing stuff but here at yen's world uh, we don't want to do just that we want them to really go into the background and go into it and see what actually so once you empower yourself with that kind of knowledge nothing can really stop you so that is what we want to give the kids and that kind of interest is what we want to develop at yen's world great uh, data from a us hospital yes. right yes that's right and it's got what about 4000 odd lines absolutely for the data is also presented in ways that you can make sense of uh, where is this graph going we can use various graphs uh, here we have chosen uh, a scatter plot and uh, so these are the things that we're trying to do making showing trend lines i came here broken and all i thought i would do was maybe pass school and maybe dance a little and maybe just dabble into something or the other but as you can see my academic certificates are hardly of any concern to me as time passes and i get the opportunity i'm sure that yen's world has already positioned me for a phd but as i said these hardly matter they are just mementos that one may store my learning has completely morphed from that miserable school experience to a very vibrant delightful and exciting 24 by 7 experience and this is what i know now is the addiction that we get from immersing ourselves into the world of learning at yen's world When I first heard about Yen's World a few years ago, I genuinely felt it had the right type of learning methods that would have a much greater benefit for children today. The need to challenge established norms, you know, scientific con- concepts, uh, you know, all this has to start somewhere from doing things early on. And I would say, you know, even uh, as young as six and seven, we've we've seen that in one of us. one of us tanya herself tanya. i remember in the yes, earlier absolutely. yeah she showed how she knew how to you know make a light blink yeah uh, to be able to sustain that keep uh, children motivated it's a big challenge no doubt a very big challenge to be able to understand how we can actually keep children motivated so how we keep that. ourselves motivated yes. you know so uh, to be able to keep learning and learning and learning and that is never going to stop anywhere yeah. you're not after a certificate you're not after you know trying to 
procure somebody to show somebody you know i think learning this way this is my opinion would far surpass what you ever learned through a board and the writing an examination would be just a matter of passage just writing it out and you get your marks and get you get a certificate anyway but what you would have learned and what you would be what you do in life i think would be uh, far far different than if you go through a normal board and this is what we hope to achieve the output that we intend to create out of our so called young kids who come here but then we also said it's not just kids we want to teach anybody anybody any age who come here want to learn and anything that you want to learn about well just sit down and start learning and we are here to help facilitate anybody from learning and uh, well you have just now demonstrated that you came here to dance what yeah, you learn how to exactly. dance and you want to continue that and you were thrown into the deep end right you were thrown into and you wondering why the hell should i learn stuff like data science or dry stuff where am i going to ever use that and then electronics for data science yeah well i'm a dancer what i don't i don't want to no learn science. i want to learn i don't see any reason for that but now like like you were just saying about you know um, how can you you know become a lifelong people learner people get hooked on like to uh, gaming people get hooked on to social media uh, what if you got hooked on to learning and i think that's what uh, we try and to do they just want to go into it on their own uh, you wouldn't have to push them to study like everywhere uh, you know parents are after their kids oh come on study study now is the time you know please sit and study that doesn't have to happen because they would want to go into it by themselves right and they'll go more beyond what the books have to offer yeah. because that kind of curiosity has been ignited and uh, they have found joy in what they're doing it's not because of any pressure but they're doing it because they love it and that's what we do at games in in the traditional system of schooling like they mainly focus on examinations and marks and uh, students are categorized as kids who learn kids who don't learn smart kids not smart kids and they are all categorized into packets and all that and it's mainly because of the because the system is like that and but in a community where or in unschooling in a community like this you can actually learn and play together you can performing arts science maths uh, music everything uh, including uh, robotics coding biology new technologies astronomy everything is incorporated together and you can learn all these uh, in the presence of nature and that helps us actually um, live in the moment and engage ourselves in whatever we do we let ourselves our curiosity to flow and let it guide the way we there we will find many answers for a single question we try to find questions or questions uh, we we learn to explore and find answers by ourselves that's what i remembered when i heard about yen sir i was glad to hear that this new initiative was in the works because i think the coming generation should have that opportunity to be part of an ecosystem with innovative learning techniques as so in yen's world hello yen's world it's a very ambitious project but exactly something we are occur in a time where everything is commercialized the true forms of art education and life are mere sales factors now this is where your ideas really push through to form something fresh and original yeah, absolutely i mean schools i think uh, traditional schools don't have the time to go beyond the uh, curriculum at all because they are so bound by it uh, but your uh, when we do things we do it just purely from the point of view of curiosity and excitement and i think that is the most important thing when it comes to learning if you do not have a curiosity or the hunger for it to begin with uh, you wouldn't learn and um, that is something that has been ignited uh, to for me uh, 
so i'm sure it can be done for anyone whoever comes into this world uh, i think it just rubs off the passion which uh, was started uh, from yen you know his passion yeah. uh, has rubbed off on me and that and i think it rubs off on many people like that if you come together yeah. uh, with such passion people Hi guys, I'm Namita. I just want to share something with you. I got this injury when I was in 11, mid or something. Just imagine, I was uh, I couldn't even walk. I was uh, walking and running all my life. I was dancing all my life. But then suddenly something like this came and was like a big, big push uh, downwards. From Uh, many people tried to help me. I went to many doctors, but there was not much of hope for me that it would be completely cured. All this time, uh, I still remember what uh, Rajiv Gandhi has told about how we should really overcome all difficulties, fight against the tide, and you know, when life puts you down, to get back up, and puts you down again, you get back up again. Uh, When he talked to Rajiv Gandhi, uh, I don't know. He gave a really positive vibe, and uh, he gave that energy. And uh, without you yourself knowing, you get to learn a lot of things. I kind of, uh, I don't know how he read my mind. Okay, uh, like it was just like somebody who got them in hand. Right? Hi guys, it's so much fun to be in Yen's world. We play together. Learn together, sing together, dance together, and talk about many subjects. Our teachers and also our friends. I love to be there. Daddy, daddy, dad. Yen's World dad. Team now tutored over 150 students. annually in performing art language of nature acquired important life skills broadened and deepened her perspective on everything from international affairs to economics conservation climate and social change to new age digital education conversations debates on subjects as diverse as history geography economics trade complex nature of international relations and anything and everything one can think of we even discuss can you imagine particle physics and quantum mechanics we discuss human physiology disease and health and the great part about this adventure in yen's world is that there are no boundaries there are no hard boundaries we are un- encouraged to push at everything explore every avenue divergent thinking is the core belief keep questioning and don't be satisfied with any answer i have learned that nothing is permanent and everything changes 
and I have learned and, and I have been taught to keep pace with it. This was more than what she ever dreamt. She was not just a ballerina, but a teacher now in multiple, absolutely diverse disciplines. I never ever dreamed that I could ever do something like this, ever in my life. Uh, all I dre- dreamt was, okay, I just wanted to do some ballet and, you know, get on to point and that's about it and that was my life. But when I came to Yen's world, my entire outlook has changed completely. The things that I thought were so boring has turned out to be so interesting about coding and programming and electronics and astronomy or anything, even genetics. Um, because that's the magic uh, of Yen's world, I think, uh, you know, so anything is possible. Right. Hi, I'm Pooja Gopal and I'm currently studying in grade 10. Now I'm here to talk about my experience of an unschool. So I got to learn about this initiative a few months back and as soon as I heard, I thought there would be a wonderful wonderful initiative experience and then I visited this beautiful home which was surrounded by nature on all sides and there I had a great time full of fun and laughter but at the end of the day when I looked back at what I did that's when I realized how much knowledge I had gained on that day anything from astronomy to yoga trees, the birds, dance, music, even about water harvesting and solar panels. I have got so much knowledge without actually sitting in front of a book for hours. Play, do, learn. The motto of this on school is what I actually did that day. It was a model of continuous lifelong learning in a boundless, inclusive, collaborative and engaging environment, one that few institutions could duplicate. Here, I don't know is never an answer. If we don't know something, we have to find out. We have to explore it till it satisfies us, even if that means that it takes a lifetime. This is the strength of Yen's world ideology. All of us can have dreams, and we all do. I learned how my dream was magically turned into a reality. And where I am today could not have happened in any other setting other than in Yen's world. difficult to grasp concepts in quantum physics, astrophysics, biochemistry, Genomics, name it, all these and more would be simplified and presented in an endearing play and learn model, resulting in just one outcome, addiction. On a personal level, my experience with the N-12 was very eye-opening, especially during a particular session when we were allowed to ask questions or doubts about any topic we wanted to. And I realized that after 12 years of exam-oriented learning, I actually knew very little about the real world which we knew. Um, and even during that discussion, we were encouraged to keep asking the question why as far as possible, to understand the reason and logic behind everything. And that's something that I took away from that experience and it gave me a totally new perspective to learn. If uh, a person like me, who uh, 
uh, is so interested, who is only interested in performing arts, uh, can get into this and you know, learn all about uh, hardware programming, discrete components in electronics, and and all of this. Uh, I'm sure that anyone can do it, and it's just that you need an environment like uh, Yen's world, um, which you know just. Uh, teaches you or, or just makes you believe and makes you believe in yourself and uh, dares you to dream or uh, you know try out various things and just breaks all your inhibitions and that's what this is all about I guess you know then uh, you're not afraid of anything you're not afraid to try out things you know nothing stops you so I think that's what the best thing that has happened uh, with the uh, young world for me. I have been really touched by the thought, care and effort you put to integrate this philosophy in every aspect of your life, whether it be your choice of living, how you conduct your classes, how you view the world around you. To feel that he has seen something more than what normal people have seen. He has experienced something more than what we have experienced in our life. And yeah, this is this book. You should read it. It's really cool. There are some terms related to ships. It's called Yen's World. There are terms, some terms related to ships in it, but then but that's fine, I guess. And it's really inspirational. It's written, are you afraid to dream? Do you have the courage to believe your dream? Yeah. And it's really motivation. It helps us uh, overcome our obstacles and challenges. It helps us to swim against the tide. And yeah, and uh, it's a must read for anybody who has experienced something unexplainable or uh, believes in miracles or believes that there is light at the end of the tunnel. It actually uh, makes us go into his world and while we read it we feel kind of you know like uh, high up and uh, we feel kind of motivated and help. it helps us uh, it's beautifully written and it helps us really motivated and encouraged to do something that we really have to do Killing young learners early on gave them a clear direction of the K-12. Hundreds of thousands of underprivileged kids. Barely a chance to break into the big league of the scientific and technological revolution. Needed intervention and support. Even though we know you only for a few years, we feel we can really bring about much needed freshness to real education and really wish we can have an opportunity to contribute in any way we can. The passion you bring is amazing and contagious. It makes us drop everything we are doing and reading about how we are living our lives or rather not living our lives. Wish you the very best with someone as charged as Yen at the helm. I'm sure you are going to make history. Shake up the world. Noka Samasta Sugino Bhavanta.
this story of transformation and skill building for the unique Yen's world process. They hidden from the world and needed this cover. I decided to talk about this because this is such an inspirational way not just to learn but to grow. And I think in the next few decades, this kind of process or shall I say formula or better still algorithm is the answer to facing the complex world of tomorrow. Our very first accidental learner now became a catalyst and driver for change. She understood this was a model whose time had come. What is so refreshingly wonderful is the absolute openness and altruistic nature of Yen's world philosophy. Here, I learned to embrace and worship all religions, all color, all communities, all discrepancies, all life. Here, I have the time and the inclination to learn from even an ant, a butterfly and a dragonfly. I even learned so much from being amidst pets. I learned how to love from the way I was loved. I learned that love meant only giving and not taking. Yen's world stands poised as always to give, give and give. And I am now so glad and feel so fortunate to tell you all that now as its first learner and now as its facilitator, I can now bring this glorious treasure which was hidden so long to the world at large. And when children are let to grow in such a community where they can become themselves and they can uh, engage and live in the moment uh, without getting distracted about anything else and explore with nature is a really great opportunity for them and uh, I'm, I call myself lucky to have met uh, such people and I think, I believe I am blessed to be in such a family. Thank you. So as a whole, I think the Yen's world is the way moving forward as it gives a more well-rounded education while also teaching practical skills and is where you can learn real life skills which is of utmost essential to adapt to today's world. You need to be book smart, yes, but you also need to be equally street smart in order to be successful in anything you do. But then also this initiative cannot be brought up by a one-man army. We need, we need more people to support this initiative and eventually build it into a community. So please take five minutes of your time to share and support this initiative with your friends and family. Yen's World stands ready, a unique gateway for learning and knowledge. Fly free.